You don't go into a really late stay. If you go in, I have to do everything you promised you to do to me. Hmm? Alright, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm still here with you. Hey, wait. Let's go with you. Let's go with you. Let's go with you. Fred, where were you last night? I can't be worried. I was worried about you. Where were you? You did not come back home last night. Oh, what is your business with where I was yesterday? Fred, I knew more than I had the right to know where my husband spent his life. <laughs> not my mother. Okay? She's a stupid The next time. I leave this house and come back here. And you ask me this stupid question. You will never ask me. It's so sweet. I'm going to slap you again. Don't say that. It's okay, my sweet. It's okay. <laughs> Um, when you are done crying, go and go for your statement, okay? She said she's gone. I think something's wrong with her. See, hmm. don't, don't, don't bother yourself. She's trying to display a kind of mad character because the last time she left this house, she promised not to return. Okay? Don't worry, don't worry. We are going to put her in her place. Okay? Mm, we right. Right. Let's put her in her place. We right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Question me on who I decide to bring into my house. Hmm? Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. Hmm. You mean my ex-wife? See, I don't I don't understand the day where you decided to buy this house. That you're asking me the question or, or question me on who I decide to bring into my house. Let me tell you something. The last time you left this house, you promised never to come back. Now do us a favor hmm? and keep your promise. Okay. Take your bag, pick your things, and leave my house this instant. Really? Mm. You should have at least waited for me to finally leave before bringing in another woman to this house. Not for yourself. I should have waited for you, eh? Based on you are Jesus. <laughs> I should wait for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I should be considering it. Tell her to leave. As what? As the owner of the house or what? Uh, <laughs> like, did you build this house with me? Or is your name on any of the documents? Or do you have any documents that shows that this is your house or what? I am your wife. Yes. And so I have equal right as you. <laughs> Tell her to leave my house! Do yourself a favor and leave my house. <laughs> I said leave my house. No, 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 don't touch my delicate skin. Don't try it. Leave my house. Leave just go. Stop backing. I'm doing this something. Hmm? Fred does not need any more distractions. Okay? I'm his new wife now, so you better get your things out of this house. <laughs> you were dreaming. Leave my house this moment. Stop backing. No, no. Okay. I don't intend for it to happen. Honest read. It's really hurting me. Okay? I'm not really a bad person. Mm -hmm. No. No, that's nice. Like you sounded. Leave my family alone. You know. Leave my marriage. Leave my family. Leave my husband. I leave him. You all understand. <laughs> my dear, I'm not in love with your husband. I feel absolutely nothing for him. Yeah. I'm not in love with your husband. Yes. You are the one I'm in love with. Just yeah, surprised. Listen, I'm not thinking of you. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm not thinking of you, husband, so I can't be supposed to be. Oh, don't worry, everything will be okay. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Are you here? Yeah. Um. 
And excuse us, please. I said, excuse us. <laughs> Yeah. You got here a little before. I thought you were here now. I'm sorry. Oh, I do. Yes, Guy, you stop, you stop treating your wife this way. She doesn't deserve it. Guy, this is no longer a question of if she deserves this or not. This is a question of if I am enjoying this marriage. My brother. I'm not enjoying my wife anymore. Her body is so loose. So what do you expect of me? So you mean you will not treat your wife just because her body is loose? Do you expect that to remain the same way after two kids? How else do you expect her to leave me if I don't, if I don't maltreat her? I have to maltreat her for her to leave me now. Uh -uh. Come on, I can't stay with someone whose body is so loose like that. Look at my baby, my baby Rita. Huh? She's very tight. See, even your, your, your Rita will be the same way. Her body will not still be the same way after two kids. I don't, I don't care of, of anybody's expectation anymore. See, all I know is that she should leave me alone. Let me stay in peace with my baby girl Rita. If she wants to stay, then let her respect herself and respect her lane. You get? When you get married, you know. Welcome. Grace. What did you tell Ken? Ken, I don't understand what you're talking about. Is it that you're dumb? Oh. Or you are pretending to be dumb? Huh? Chris, what did you tell Ken, my friend? Okay. I was tired of what is happening in this house, so I needed to confide in someone. And so I confided in Ken. Um, Grace, yeah. you took my family affairs outside to tell my best friend, someone who is not a member of this family. Do you understand the level of insult you render upon me? Huh? Fred, you just need to grow up. Grow up and stop acting like a child. Huh? You have to accept the fact that you are wrong. You are wrong. I read it. I take corrections. Um, this is what you've been inculcating into my children, right? That I am a bad father. You've been instilling into my children, been brainwashing them, making them think I'm a bad father, right? I will never do that. I will never do that. But I want you to also know that these children are growing up. These children are seeing you. They are watching you. You see all you do in this house. They are watching me. Yes. I see you now have, you have mouth, you have guts. You no longer know your place in this house. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, you are stupid. Ah! Ah! Well, talk to me next time. Okay. This, this, this is just, it's just my work. You've not seen the last of me. I will put you in your place. You don't have mouth to look at me. Nonsense. That's yours. Can you imagine? He hit me because I came complaining to you. Really? Yes. Well, well, I'm sorry about that though. But there was something you complained about. None of this. What should you do there? What should you do with Ken? That's my friend. Oh, Ken. You know the guy. That's Ken. He, yeah, he complained about your body being loosed. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Was he expecting me to remain the way I was when I was single? After this, having these two kids? To my, to my own concern as a friend, as a family friend, I would advise maybe you get some natural medications to help yourself. I think this 
just know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? No. 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 <laughs> what are you doing this game? Look at, look at, look at this useless idiot I married. Out here with, with, my, with my children. Talking, talking to my friend on the road. You don't even know what they are having. Discussion. How would I know what they're talking about? She's obviously gossiping. That's her business. Business for me. She meets me at home. She's okay now. It's fine. Okay. No, okay, okay. What is okay about this? My wife is out there talking to another man. Talking to my best friend. And you say it's okay? Besides, you don't even know what they were discussing. Do I need to know what you were discussing? Huh? See, this is not the first time this is happening. Okay. It's not the first time. But I'll make sure that this is going to be the last time it's going to happen. Don't tell me what I said. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> I know what to do. I know what to do. You're welcome, okay? Please. Be happy, okay? okay. Alright, I'll just take my thing. Alright, man. Take care of yourself. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, sir. Alright. Alright. Right. 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 Hey. Has it gotten to this? It has gotten to this. It has gotten to this. What's going on here? Do you think it's my bag doing here? Please. I know you've always been dumb. But are you this dumb? Huh? You see your bag outside here, you're asking what your bag is doing here. Do I need to explain everything to you? Huh? See, let me break it down for you. Take your bag and leave my house. Business then. But why should I do that? <laughs> and why should you do that? <laughs> do I need to explain myself to you? Huh? Number one, this is my house. I can do whatsoever I wish. Number two, who was that guy you were talking to? What is Kim, your friend? And so what? Huh? What were you telling him? What were you discussing with him? <laughs> If I don't have time for all of this, I don't. I don't care if you have time or not. See, take this bag now and leave my house. There's no way. Because this is my house. It's our house. Where do you expect me to take these children to? Where do I expect you to take them to? You can take them to wherever God knows. I don't give, I don't give a damn. Now, take this bag and leave here. Right now, this instant. <laughs> Are you stupid? Huh? <laughs> I will stop you again. I will stop you again. Get out. Get out. Look at this filthy thing. Are you still here? You want me to lay my anger down on you? Get out of my house. It's yours. Let me see you in this house again. You will see the worst of it. Nonsense. She can calm down now. Ah, it's okay now. She's gone. Please, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. And I am sorry if you think I'm the reason all this is happening. But I am not. Please. 
Just leave me alone. No. Oh, no. I can't just leave you here with these kids and your box. And I know Fred will not let you into the house. So please, let me help you. Okay? Don't worry. How will you help me? Don't worry, I'll take it to my place. They are fine, they are still sleeping. <sighs> um, anyway, I came to find out what you like to eat so I can prepare it for you. Anything, anything is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like you don't have any present? You don't know, you don't have present. Mm -hmm. okay. Listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'll have to come out straight. I'm in love with you. Please, you are nothing to women like you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> I understand. Calm down. I will take very good care of you. Hmm? I will never put you through what your what your husband is putting you through. Now. I will never do that. Hmm? Um, please, just give me some time. You know, I'm just coming out from one trauma. Mm. Um. Just give me some time to heal, please. I beg you. Please. It's fine. We'll think about it. Sure. Okay? I will take good care of you. You have a lot to gain and nothing to lose. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. So, I'll go ahead. Okay? Okay. okay. Big boy. How are you? Please. What is it? They are thinking again. Hmm? It's okay. I've told you everything will be fine. Thank you. Okay. So I came to find out what you'd like to have for dinner so I can make it. And anything, anything will be fine. Anything. Yeah, is that? It's me, babe. I'm coming! I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just uh, coming up for you. I'm fine. How are you? Of course. <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Just if I'm just there, I'm tired. Are you serious? Look, I wish I can get a massage. Ah, lie down here. Let me step on your back. Uh uh. That's the best room. one of massage. Let's go to the room. Let me only step on my back. Your room. <laughs> you just got there as I want to go to the room. Mm -mm. I've always been staying in this panel. I'm used to the panel already. Let's go to the room. Let's go. You know, you have been at home all day. I'm tired of staying in the house. Why don't you just take a walk, you know, romantic walk? Let me take some fresh air. A romantic Chara. walk? Yeah, romantic walk. And after then, we'll go to the room. Oh, we'll go to the room. Why now? Yeah, room. Let's go do something. <laughs> Please, let's just take a walk. Okay, if you say so. Please, I need to but if, so. yeah. but if you come back, we are going to the room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
fuck is your house? Oh, <laughs> calm down now. I, I don't. Down. I don't want to go back to the house. I right? cannot calm down. I can't. My body is tense. I'm hit up. You know, you know what's up now. Hey, I know. I know that's why you want us to go back to the house. Mm-hmm, so let's go back to your house. No, not today. Why? Because. Who is the shot? Turn on. Oh. Uh, uh, you are on again. Ah, uh-uh. who is again? We own last week now. I'm only, I'm only gonna own, own your name. <laughs> then please just leave me. It's my own and not your own. Allow me to be on in peace. Of this own. Of this own. Yeah, eh. That's I know. I will not Why not? Of what? So, what happened? I saw your wife on the street with your children. And obviously, with what I saw, they slept on the streets. Ken, you mean to tell me that you saw my wife and my kids sleeping on the streets? Yes. Chris, what have I done to you to deserve this, this kind of humiliation? Hey, Chris. Chris, why would you, why would you make my, my kids sleep on the streets? What do you expect of me? Huh? What do you expect of me? Who you throw us out of the house? Chris, I threw you out of the house. Does it mean that my children have to have, have to sleep on the streets? Hey, Grace. <laughs> Come on, Grace. What have I done to deserve this from you? Do you mean to tell me that you don't have common fifty thousand naira? Fifty thousand naira for transportation to take my kids to your parents' house? Or you, you, mean, you, you mean to tell me that you, you, you run out of options? That you don't have friends in Lagos here where you can squat? You, you just want you just want to paint my name, my good reputation on the, on the streets. You just you, you just wish to trample upon my name. Who is expect you to get such a money from? Huh? Where do you expect me to get the money? Am I working? How about Grace? Where do I expect you to get such money from? Grace, you mean to tell me that all the money I've been giving you all those why? For feeding. You cannot serve all at least 500 naira from there for savings. Why, why did I get married to you? If my wife cannot save at least 500 naira from, from feeding money, eh? You mean to tell me that even if you cannot serve all at least 500 naira, 200 naira, Grace, there are men out there that give their wife 1,000 naira for feeding. What, what 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 is worse than this she has done to me, my brother? My my brother, do you know what? All we should just do now, let's just make peace. That's all. This argument is not called for. We should just let's just make peace here, please. My brother, forget peace. Uh-uh. Forget peace. Even if it's ten thousand naira for hotel fee, you need to tell me because you don't have you don't have ten thousand naira to pay for hotel. Uh uh-uh. uh. How about now? I understand, I understand, but all we need here is to make peace. To make peace. Peace. Oh brother, you all understand. This is this is beyond peace. This is beyond peace. I am a man, you're a man. We have our integrity, we have our dignity. If we don't have dignity, what are we? We are worse than animals. If if she cannot protect my dignity as my woman whom she claims she is. If she can't protect, protect my dignity out there, what is she to me? She's 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 humiliating me in front of my peers, in front of my friends. She just trampled upon my name. She took my name to the court and to the streets. Oh no, Mama, what is this woman talking to me? Please don't disturb me, no. Can you please leave me? I said leave the room. Why? This is my room. Do I need a reason to ask you to leave my room? Where do you want me to go to? Where do I want you to go to? Grace, there are so many rooms in this house. Yet you ask me where I want you to go to. Can you please leave my room right now? 
Oh, so where do you expect oh. me to go to? Oh. Because this is also my room. And I know that, did you did you get this house with me? Do you have the rooms in the house, now? I'm just the rooms. Do I need to remind her of that? Please, please leave my room this instant, okay? I want to, I want to, I want to have time with my baby girl right now. Who the hell does she think she is? She doesn't want to use any of those. She can't afford to call it that. She doesn't realize that her days are going on by this house. I'm going to, I'm going to give her the records. Just leave me alone. Rita, am I not talking to you? <laughs> I asked you what was the meaning of that. Oh. 
What's the problem? Why is she not eating? Please. Don't worry, let me try. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be fine. What is the problem? Nothing. She doesn't want the food. So give her what she wants. I don't even refuse to buy her vitamin. That's what she eats. That's what oh. she's used to. Yeah, she eats vitamin. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, let me try. Don't worry, I'll give you money to buy vitamin for her later. But for now, let me try if she will take this one, okay? Don't worry, let me try. <sighs> ah, hello, baby. Come, come, come to Auntie. Why don't you want to eat your food? Mm? You try to eat this one. Then later, I will tell Daddy to buy your appetite. Okay? Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Appetite will come this evening. That's my girl. Eat it, baby. Don't worry. I'll make sure Daddy buys your appetite. Okay? Good girl. See, she's eating. See, she's eating. <laughs> oh, baby. Where are you? Hey, oh, please. See, baby, we're eating her food. She doesn't like this one. So, on your way back from work, get her a name. You know, that's what she's used to. Hmm? Okay. See, I've told daddy. I will buy it for you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh. Oh, she's okay, she'll be fine. What's happening here? I don't understand. Is it that she managed to win her over to her side or what? I brought Rita to my house to create anonymity in between her and my wife, but they, they seem to be cooperating fine. What's happening here? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. No, they are supposed to be enemies, not friends. They're supposed to be rivals. Normally, it is in women's nature. It, that is their nature. They are always are against themselves. That lady is becoming so nice and friendly. Eh? But they really do not know her intention. And that's making me worried. Well, I don't really know her that much. You know, I just see her with my friend at times. All my advice, you really need to be careful because nobody knows our intentions. And a lady that is capable of taking someone's husband, she might do anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's true. You're very correct. I think I should put my eye down. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be careful, okay? Let me work. Okay, no problem. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Honestly, it has become a norm. I'm telling you. And it's crazy. It's, it's, it's stupid. You know what I mean? Imagine. Imagine a woman, uh, the mother of the house, trying to come take over the kitchen, telling the wife of the house, I don't need to leave the kitchen. Let me take care of my son. You know? Something like that is stupid. Tell me how come that from the car. That's my seat. Phone, 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 phone,
because this is not every man. Some men. I know there are still some men that have it open. It's, it's crazy. It is. I mean, it's stupid. You get it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Why would someone want to take over the, the, the position of the wife? Huh? Trying to take over the position, like trying to be the second wife of the house. The second wife is not like this crazy. Call it assumption. Uh -huh. like, they, are, they are assuming to be the second wife. Like how? How, how does it even work? See, see. If you are not going to be the second wife, you better look for a place to place yourself, okay? Because in this house, in this house, you are the second wife. Honey, why is she arguing with you? Oh, really? <laughs> We are not arguing. We are just having a decent conversation. Hey, come on now. Grace is your first wife. No, no, no. As, as the man of the house, I am giving you the mandate of a first wife. <laughs> it's fine. You know, she can actually take over the position of the first wife while I remain the second wife. No, but you are the first wife. I'm the second wife. I'm cool with that. <laughs> no, who does be the first wife? No, to that will make him happy. <laughs> be the first one. I'm okay. Be the second one. Okay. Okay. What was the meaning of that? What was the meaning of what? You're asking me many of them. What were you doing with her there? We were just having a conversation. Rita. Hmm? You were having a conversation with my wife. Yes. Why? Look, okay, is that why I brought you to this house? Is that why you're here? Huh? Come on, Rita, that was not the plan, okay? You're supposed to be enemies with her. Rivals, not friends. Huh? Who wants to do the discussion? Don't you like peace? Rita, this is not a matter of peace. We are not here to make peace with her. We are here to give her problems. We are here to cause violence, violence, violence. Give her violence! Huh? By the way, you guys are making a mockery of me, right? Why are you making a mockery of me? I don't know this. I don't know this. I saw it. Where have you ever seen first wife and second wife always sitting down discussing having peace? They are always rivals. It is in the man's nature to be, to be rival, to be, to be rivals with, with each other. You can't just, just, just be sitting down and, and be discussing. <laughs> If you've never seen a thing you've seen today, it doesn't happen. It, it, it is not natural. It's not. It's not in your nature. It's not in your nature. It's not in your nature to 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 to, 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 be, to be friends instead of rivals. They're always rivals. Why do you like trouble? You're so funny. What? <laughs> you know now. Come on now, that's okay. <laughs> okay, and here's the thing. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think you do? Have I not warned you to not save me from the game? Huh? Get out! I'm taking it out of here! Okay, it's okay. Get out! You'll be where? It's okay, no. Uh -huh. Jesse, don't be talking to her anyhow, eh? It is okay now. I need your own divided attention. I'm here for you. But she's only trying to be a good wife. Mm -mm. Not, not to me. Okay, it's fine. Just save me a few. Save me a few for me. Oh, mm. mm. <laughs> well, I'll mm. dish you. Yeah.
God. What is it? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Okay. I just want to help you. I've always loved you. I've always cherished you. I've taken you as my mother for all your days. I've always loved you. Cherish me. By the time I'm done with you, you will learn how to treat women right. I've always treated you. My friend, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm sure you'll be able to hold this. Hold it. Hold it! I'm not joking, bro! No! Here. Sign this document. Don't waste my time. I'm not here to joke with you. Sign this! Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. I'm not here to joke. Sign here. These are the documents to all his promises. Hmm? As you can see, they all hear the news. They are signing it. That's all this. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See, I hate to see men that are not with me. I can't stand that. That's why I'm doing all this for you. Hmm? Thank you. Oh, um, okay. but so what next? Um, uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. You have to kill him. Ah! Oh! Yes! Kill him! Kill him! No, 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 no. What? That's too much. Not so much. It is nothing compared to what he has done to you. You! Okay, okay. This is human pickup. What will I tell you? It's for my members. Tell them anything. Okay, fine. Tell them that he traveled outside the country and my will be coming back anytime soon. Really? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you expecting me? No! Who is expecting me? Calm down. Who is there? It's Ken. Ken. Yeah. Okay. This is Ken. You're welcome. Okay. Um, it's what? from no one. Oh, why is not around? Yes, Fred is not around. I yes. spoke to him not that long, and he told me he's at home. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot. He, he got an urgent call. Urgent call? Exactly. And um, he traveled. What? Um, Fred traveled? Yes. Like, I just spoke to him, like, some minutes ago. Like, I don't understand. Traveled. Yeah, something came up. I mean, I think you should come back um, later. No? Yeah? I'll just step back. Okay. Okay. I'll just come back later. Alright. Have a nice time. Oh, no problem. Alright. Yeah, 
take. Go ahead, finish him up. Kill him! Finish him up! Do it! Don't waste time! Remember everything he has put you through. Remember the humiliation, the embarrassment, the abuse. Come on now, why are you wasting time? I can't! I'm sorry! I can't do this! Please! What do you mean by you can't? Listen, you can do it. You have the documents with you. Your name is on it. You have everything. You have nothing to lose. Okay? I can't do this. Please do it! Find out where he is. If the family asks you, just tell them that you traveled out. Okay? No, 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 please, please, don't let me find you. Can you do it? No, please, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. You want all my efforts to be wasted? I'm sorry. Please, please don't do this. I beg you. Why? See, Milton is wanting in the life of someone you love. Wait. Someone you love? Yes, I still love him. You are still in love with this beast? <laughs> yes, I still love him. After everything he put you through, remember the abuse. He beat you so many times. Came to you and your children out on the street. In the cold. Humiliated you. You... Are you serious? Listen, you have nothing to be afraid of. You have the documents and your name. You have your name on it, signed. You see, I still love him. And I know he loves me too. I can't do this. How can you say you're still in love with someone who deceived you to marry you? And I know the last time I'm treating you. It's not true. He didn't deceive me. He was in love with me, and that's the reason he got married to me. Yes. So, what happened along the line? I knew it's the handbook of the devil. He even came and sowed evil seed. And that's the reason he acted the way he did. I know someday he's going to change. Please. <sighs> you know what? Marriage is not a do or die affair. Please take this. I'm not interested in it. This wasn't the reason I got married to him. Are you sure you don't want this? Yes. Listen, see. It has your name on it. I know. I know. I love him. And that's the reason I married him. Not for this. This wasn't the reason I got married to him. So. Just give it back to him, okay? I'm not interested in any of this. Um, please. I think I should go back to my parents. Yes. Just like that? Yes. Um, please. Free him. Release him. Let him go. Please, I'm sorry. Let me go back to my parents. My love. Now, how are you doing? Mm. Honey, I want to tell you how sorry I am. Like, I know I do not want your love and what you've done for me so far. But I really appreciate all you've done for me. I appreciate your love, your sacrifice, your perseverance. Your endurance and you being the one that keeps our family together. Mm. And I really want to tell you that I'm so sorry for everything I made you go through. Like I never meant for any of this to happen. I really regret my actions. Everything I made you go through, I really regret it a lot. And I want to thank you for saving my life. Why did you suddenly change? You became so wicked and mean. I mean, Different from the person I got married to. 
Honey, the truth of the matter is that I never meant for any of this to happen. After the last time you caught me cheating, See, I'm looking at you mad. My head's going to fall. I'm going crazy right now. See, now, have you ever heard of this kind of stuff? Your wife caught you red handed on the bed with another woman. And she just acted as if nothing happened. But, brother, where is this green head of? Huh? Where this kind of thing don't happen before? But, brother, tell me now. Hmm. What is. What about a long minute? But what this this happened. The, the funny part is that eh, she caught me yesterday, red handed on the bed with another woman. And then this morning I saw her preparing a sumptuous breakfast for me. Bro, who may we catch you red handed on the bed with another woman? Call they prepare breakfast for you the next morning. But I think I'm mad. Listen now. So you, you don't know the attitude of a woman. You don't know how they behave. It's not normal. Honey, it's due to the fear of uncertainties. Like which wife will catch her husband cheating on her and still forgive her husband just like that? To the essence of the, the next day preparing a sumptuous meal. Honey, it made me grow in suspicion towards you. I started like my brain was just plain playing a, a different kind of tip for me, telling me that this cannot be possible, that something is up. And I started having the suspicions towards you. Though, though you, you kept proving yourself to be a loving wife, the more you kept proving yourself to be a loving wife, the more I, I had the suspicions that you were trying to maybe poison me and all that. That is why I even asked you at the point not to prepare meals for me anymore. But you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong to the essence that you even saved my life. I don't I don't know how to thank you. I don't I don't know what I would have done without you. I love you so much and I promise to stand by you. And I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Why will I want to kill my husband? The father of my kids. I really love you so much. And I promise to stand by you and always do right by you from this day henceforth. 